Hey guys, Ellie here from Zeek, and in this video, I'm going to cover how to set up perfectly optimized eBay categories for your store. I will also share the benefits of having eBay categories as well as some basic facts about store categories. Be sure to stick around until the end where I will share with you some great tips for setting up store categories. Before we start, I would like to invite you to subscribe to our channel. That way you can get notified on every new video that we post. All right guys, so we're gonna start off with this PowerPoint just so we can go over some facts and benefits of having store categories. So some of the benefits are getting your products ranked higher on the eBay search results by applying SEO into the categories. Easy access to products. This actually guides your customer to the product category he wants to shop. You'll get more sales by getting your product to appear in cross sales on eBay promotions and it will allow the customer for easy movement of listings. This actually helps the customer browse your catalog, and of course, with that, find other items to buy. So let's just go over some basic facts about store categories. Your store categories don't need to match eBay's categories. You can create as many as 300 store categories and subcategories with up to three levels of categories. So let's say for an example, your main store category is shoes. And underneath that, you have men's shoes, women's shoes, kids' shoes, and so on. Your category names can be up to 30 characters long. Whenever you create a new listing, you'll be able to assign it to one of your store categories, of course, in addition to eBay's categories. You can add, rename, move, and delete store categories at any time. A category will not appear in your store if there are no listings in it. You can move listings from one category to another. Let's now jump into the share screen example on how to set up an eBay store with perfectly optimized categories. So the first thing you're gonna do is log into your eBay account and you're gonna go down to my eBay and to this dropdown and you will see selling. This is where you will click on selling. Once you click on selling, it will direct you to your seller hub and you will have the option to click on marketing. Once you click on marketing, your manager marketing activities will come up and all the way on the right side, you will have manage store categories. This is what you're going to click on. Another way you can get to my categories is going to this dropdown and click on selling by clicking that it will take you to your seller hub and next to your name you will have this door you may click on that as well that door will take you to this page where you can click on manage my store up here in the right hand corner once you click on manage my store here on the left side you can see store categories so now that I showed you two ways on how to get to your store categories let's actually make some store categories all right guys, so once we get into manage store categories, this is what the page should look like. All the way on the left, we have category level one, which is your main category. Here we have number of subcategories, and all the way on the right, we have number of listings, which will show you how many listings you have in each category. So how you would add a category, it's pretty simple. You're just gonna go up here where it says add category and you will click on it. Once you do, you will have the option to name your category. Now the best way for you to do this is, let's say you're selling some solar power wall lights, security garden lamp, and you have a couple of these different ones. Some have three heads, some have two heads, and so on. So what you're gonna wanna do is take a couple of these keywords and you're going to jump into the Zeek Analytics Title Builder, which is located right here. And up here in the search bar, you're gonna write or paste some of those keywords, in this case, solar powered security lights, and you're gonna go ahead and click on search. This will give you long tail keywords as well as generic keywords. So my opinion to you is to use some of these generic keywords to actually name your category. So in this case, let's use motion right here and lights 
to name our category. So we're gonna go back to eBay and under category name, we're gonna type in motion lights and that will be our category name. Now once we have our category name, we're gonna go down to the bottom and we're gonna go ahead and click on save. Now once you have clicked save, it will take you back to manage store categories. Here you can see category level one is motion lights. Now to add your subcategories, what you will do is click on the category name, in this case, motion lights. Now we are in the motion lights category. To add a subcategory to motion lights, we're going to click on add category here as well, and it will take us to pretty much the same page. So for motion lights, let's go back to Zeek Analytics to check out our subcategory. So let's say our long tail keyword is outdoor solar powered, and we're just gonna go ahead and add lights to that. Now this is our subcategory. Once you have your subcategory, you're gonna go ahead and copy it and paste it to the category name. Again, make sure that all of your letters are uppercase and lowercase because this is how it will appear to your customers on eBay. Now, as you can see here, we're under motion lights. Motion lights can be indoors, outdoors. So the subcategory is outdoor solar powered lights. And this is where all of those listings that are under outdoor solar powered lights will be located. Once you have your subcategory, again, you will go down to the bottom and click on save. Now here you are under category level two, which is your subcategory, and you can see outdoor solar powered lights. Now, when we go back to store categories, this is how it show up. We have category level one, which is motion lights, and then we have one subcategory under motion lights. And of course, you can always add more. Now for your listings, go to the active listings page in my eBay, select the listings that you want to move, and click the edit button. This is how you will get your listings under each category as well as subcategory. But remember, it's really important to use the Zeek Analytics Title Builder. That way you have all of the long tail keywords as well as the generic keywords that are being searched for on eBay. Using these keywords will allow your listings to rank higher up on eBay. All right guys, so now that you know how to set up store categories, here are some tips to keep in mind. Create a set of categories that help buyers quickly find the types of items that you have to offer without overwhelming them. List your items in two categories, a main store category and a secondary store category. Also, consider creating special categories that attract buyers' attention, such as 50% off or featured items. And for the conclusion, having an organized store will actually increase your traffic and conversion rate. It might take some time to set up, but once your store has a lot of items, it is better to have an organized store where buyers can navigate between desired categories. This will actually help your listings get more views by helping the eBay algorithm better understand what type of products you are selling and match them to the buyer's search results. Also, keep in mind that you won't see drastic changes overnight once you make your categories, but you will in the near future. All right, guys, so that wraps up this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any additional questions or comments, please leave them down below. Also, like and subscribe to our channel. That way you can get notified on every new video that we post. Have a good one, guys. Stay safe and see you next time.